Hey everybody, it's Teddy and my buddy here, Libby. Um, I wanted to give you some ideas on how to get yourself organized with your new poetic business. Um, I'm a big believer in the uh, fact that some people get slowed down with their business when they're just trying to get organized. So this is an easy way to kind of get your business off to a good start. Um, so you can be out there having exchanges, talking to future luminaries, and you're not bogged down with just trying to get everything put together in an office. I would highly recommend uh, finding yourself a cool notebook. Um, I found this at the container store. Um, I think it was like $5 or something. Um, but get one that you like because you really should be carrying this with you everywhere you go. So find one that has a design that you like and that's actually big enough. This is a three inch binder uh, because you need to carry a lot of things in here. The only other thing that you will need besides the notebook are some plastic pages and then tabs. Those are really the only thing that you need, three things to get your uh, poetic business organized, okay? So what I do is I go to my back office and the first thing that I put in my binder is a list of our customer and our host promotions. I keep this in the front of my binder. The reason being is I don't wanna forget and tell somebody the wrong information. And it might be the beginning of the month and you might just absolutely forget what the new promotion is. So it's very simple just to keep this in the front of your binder, handy dandy, easy reference. The other pieces that I have in my binder, I do want to tell you, I recommend that you have all of them in your binder, and I recommend you print them all off, but the organization um, and kind of your system is up to you. It needs to work for you, but I would highly recommend having each of these pieces in your binder. The next 25, I think, pages um, are actually probably the most important, at least for me. I printed off, again, in your back office under resources, um, all of the order forms for each of the custom pieces. This helps me stay organized. It helps me not get rattled at an exchange. But it also really helps my customers as they're starting to prepare to maybe make um, a heart totem. I am able to hand this to them. I tell them, here are your options, and here are all the glyphs for that one option. It helps them get focused, it helps them understand what works and what doesn't work, um, and again, it keeps me from getting completely confused when I'm talking to three or four different people about their totem. I also keep these organized. So I keep all the totems together, I keep the petite totems together, I keep the write-ons together. That way it's super easy for me to get to, and again, it's easy for me to stay organized. Um, I was able to find, I think at a Walmart for $29, a little laminating machine. Um, I bought it for my kids for school, but I use it for my business. I would highly recommend that too. You don't have to have it. Again, plastic sheets work, but when you're taking these in and out at parties, um, they tend to get worn really easy, uh, and this is just an easy way to keep them protected. The next thing I keep are all of our catalogs, and I put our most recent first, and then I put all of our catalogs and our supplements right behind it. I keep two copies in my notebook. I keep one for myself for reference, and then I always have one with me in case somebody asks for a catalog. It's easy for me to go and grab it either out of my car or my briefcase. So keep all your reference materials, your, your um, catalogs, right behind these order pages. The other thing I do then is I move into what I call kind of the essence of our business, and this is the tab where I keep all of these pieces. I keep our Take Flight magazine right here in the front of this tab. It's a great resource for me. It's also a great resource when I'm talking to a new luminary um, for training purposes, but this is a great reference guide. Um, I keep it with me all the time. Highly recommend you do too. And then I also keep a poetic um, Light the Way brochure and a Host the Exchange brochure. I keep a couple of these in here. Again, if you're at an exchange and somebody shows an interest in hosting an exchange, it's really an easy way just to grab it and give it to them. If you're talking to somebody and they're interested in learning more about the business, the worst thing you can do is say, hey, I'll get it to you in a day or two. It's better just to be able to pull the information, hand it to them at the party or at the exchange, and let them go home with some information. The next tabs are really about your personal business. So I keep the Earn Your Kit um, information right here. I keep our R&R &R incentive right there. I keep a copy of our compensation plan, um, both sides, so both the um, overview as well as the detailed information. 
And then at the beginning of the um, year, I share with my upline all of my personal goals for my business. Um, and I keep that really close to the compensation plan so I can track how I'm doing against my personal goals. The last page or the last tab is really my party tab. I created what I call open date cards. Um, this is the master copy and I make copies before I go to an exchange. I cut it in half. The first one has the name and the phone number and the date that they would like. And then I ask them, do you want to have three, five, or seven guests at your exchange? This just lets them know you don't have to have 50 people. You don't even have to have 20 people come to your home for an exchange. We can do it with three and I'll be there. So again, I keep the master copy here and then I actually make copies and keep it in the binder as well. The next thing that I keep, here's an actual open date card, it just fell out, but this is what they look like. I put it on card material, cut them in half, five by seven, and I have them sitting out at the exchange. And then at the end of the exchange, I actually pass it around, so I'm sure it's full by the time I leave. I do the same thing with um, the What Matters Most cards, and again, this is the master. I can show you, it's exactly printed just like this. And I hand these to guests as they're coming in, so I let them get their glass of wine, and then I give them one of these little cards, and I ask them to go doodle, think, draw, create, um, what matters most to them. That's an easy way for me to have a conversation with them when they're ready to create their totem. I'm able to take a look at their card, and it's a great conversation starter. So again, recommend that. In your back office are these little slips. This is the um, printed copy of it. Um, but it's the information cards that I like to have my guests sign. It gives me their name, their information, contact information, and if they'd like to hear more about Poetic Exchange later. I do have my guests fill this out at the beginning. Sometimes you can do it for a register to win, but other times I just do it just in case um, I miss them somehow or what if they don't order. It's a great way to know who's coming to your parties and to start creating a detailed database. I do the contact list. All of this is in your back office. My host, my host wish lists are in here. My host checklists are in here. My host checklist continues. And then any time that I've had a, um, an exchange and I um, have a card that's complete with people's information, I keep those in here so I can go back and be sure that I've contacted them and plan the exchange. So it's an easy place to keep them. This gives you an idea of what the What Matters Most card looks like. Last thing is the rest of the kind of materials or printouts that are in our back office. I have them all here. Our 5 by or our 8 by 10 sign with the back, so you know you get this in the kit. This is easy to keep there as well. And then my last tab is for vendor events, and I have plastic pages back here. Whenever I sign up for a vendor event, I put the information here. I mark the date on the top once I've paid with the date and I keep it in chronological order. All of them that I'm interested in, and you can see I need to get to work on vendor events right now, um, but all of them that I'm interested in and I haven't paid, I keep those also in here, but I know it's paid when I've marked it paid on top and I have the date. So this is my office. This is my poetic exchange office right here. Um, it's easy, it's convenient, I can take it with me, but most of all it keeps me organized so I can have an organized business. I hope that helped. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.